Hey guys, I'm Daniel Springs. Uh, today I've got an all new video for you guys. Uh, www.smokinghookah.com asked me to uh, show you guys how to stage and store your shisha. Uh, basically, I like to just keep all my shisha up in the cabinet like so. I'm going to show you guys the right way to store it and the wrong way. Alright, uh, if you guys just want to check out the cabinet, um, I've got all my shisha stacked up here. So you can see I got some Starbuzz here. I've got uh, just all kinds of shisha in here. Um, this is going to be some um, coconut shisha that I've had in here for a while. Um, I, I let it sit on this paper plate to show you guys the wrong way to store it because if you notice it's all pretty much dried up and there's no molasses in this tobacco anymore. Uh, the proper way to do this is um, put it back in its original container if you can. Uh, leave it in its baggie so you don't um, get molasses all over the place. Okay, uh, next thing I'm going to show you guys how to load up your bowl and how to stage that. <clears throat> okay, I am getting ready to open Starbuzz's Pirate's Cave. Uh, I've never smoked this before, but uh, I'm just going to open this for you guys so you guys can see how you should probably take care of your shisha. Um, I'm just going to cut cut open the outside packaging on this one and uh, on the inside you're going to get another baggie. Now you want to be careful with this baggie and not lose this one because um, you don't want your shisha to make a mess all over the place. Now I am going to cut a small slit in here just so I can get the tobacco out and hopefully the molasses won't drain out of the packaging. I'll push all the tobacco and molasses into one side. But primarily whenever you're setting up your shisha, generally every bowl is going to be about 15 grams, or in between 10 and 15 grams. So you can put a decent amount of shisha in each bowl. But here's the thing with that. You don't want to put too much in there to where it's just piled up and you make a brick out of it because then you're not going to get a good concentrated burn on it you're just going to burn in one place. You want it to burn all over. See, I'm just going to stick this back in this outer bag now. And then place that right back in the container. That is how I like to store my shisha. Now this is going to go right back up in my cabinet just as soon as uh, I finish my review on it. And then with the shisha, like I said, you want to fluff it. You want it to burn evenly. You don't want it to um, burn in just one spot. You uh, can see I use a pair of tongs for this. I don't really use my fingers because fingers don't work too well. Um, and then whenever it comes to your uh, tin foil, I like to put two pieces of foil in here. You just break off the square, go shiny side down, and make like a little dimple in the middle. That way your charcoal doesn't ride off. And you just want to make that as flat as possible around the edges so you make a good seal around it. Now, with the second piece, do the same. Make sure you get a dimple in the middle. Now you just need to poke your holes, depending on the charcoal you use and how many charcoals you use, uh, depends on how many holes and where you poke, poke the holes. But um, I hope this tutorial has helped you out. Um, I just want to thank www.smokinghookah.com for making this video possible. Um, we'll see you in the next video. Keep smoking.